Good morning, traders. How are you? I hope you are well. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, I went and watched the golf yesterday. It was very interesting. Um, guys, as always, I'm going to tell you the day. The day is Monday, and the date is the 21st of November. And as always, guys, we're going to look back at Friday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades. And we're also going to look at the important news, as we always do. We're also, guys, before I start, don't forget the Discord channel. Yeah, you'll see the link in the video description, guys. Come join us. Loads of traders in there sharing wonderful ideas. So come join us in there. Don't forget the live stream on Wednesday, guys, 6.30 a.m. London GMT. Come join us for the live. Ask me as many questions as you like. And the last thing, guys, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one by myself, then um, come join our mentorship program. The uh, email is in the video description, guys. Yeah, drop us an email. Okay, that's everything. Let's start. So trades from Friday. There were Trez trades. The first one was this, gold. So the idea, guys, this was a bit of a retrace trade, all right? So price was clearly in an uptrend, yeah? Clearly in an uptrend, but it was very over, overbought at this level, all right? And all I wanted to do was follow this selling momentum downwards a bit more, guys, yeah? It's come from our grey zone, potentially down to here. I still think it will come down to here, guys, all right? And then it will find some resist, uh, some support here, yeah, from these last highs, okay? But we were just trying to short this for those reasons, guys. Let's look at H1 to see if we could get in on this pair, and we could. So the candle I eventually got in on, guys, was this candle here. All right. This was a lovely candle to get in on. I'll tell you why it's better than this candle and better than this candle. Let me tell you. So as you see, when price comes up to our grey zone, guys, it just sort of ranges for some time here, really. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, a good nine, ten hours. It was just ranging. Okay, and then when we're, when I'm in that range, I don't really like to take a trade. I liked uh, for price to break out of this range. Okay, and then you can see this candle. Yeah, this candle broke the lows of all of these candles, and therefore broke out of the range. This was a an exquisite candle to enter the trade on. Um, so I got into this candle, guys. I got the I've got the litless retrace. I entered here. Okay, I put my stop above here, all right, and I took I took 100% of the trade down to here, guys, yeah, because it wasn't much room between the last low and here, and, it, and the fact it happened so quickly, guys, yeah, this candle just comes storming down, um, and, and when it did, I just, yeah, closed 100% of it at this blue line, guys, all right, because it was a Friday, that's why I closed 100%. Got a risk to reward of around one is to two happy days. Very happy trader, guys. So, yeah, I hope you took this trade as well. If you did, let me know. Leave a message in the Discord channel or on uh, below the vid. We would love to hear from you. Um, the next trade from Friday was this. It was the Swiss franc against the Japanese yen. And once price had hit these highs again, yeah, um, price had sort of been breaking down, really, guys. And then it's found itself in this range, okay? But these highs haven't been broken. So the idea was just to take it back down to here. If I zoom in, we had candlesticks that told us sellers were in control. So we had this candle, yeah, sellers are in control. This candle, yeah, because of this wick, sellers are in control. And this candle, yeah, yeah. So sellers were in control. We were just trying to take it back down to this blue line, guys. All right, that was the idea. Um, let's look at the H1 now to see how we executed this trade because I did get into this one. I got in on this candle here, guys. All right, I know the candle before it was very bullish, but this candle here still, the entry candle is still classed as a, a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern because the close of the the close of this candle closed uh, more than fifty percent of this candle's body. Okay, so that warrants uh, that 
by definition is a bearish candlestick pattern all right so i entered on this candle i put my stop above here i took 80 percent off uh closed 80 percent at these last lows here guys yeah and now i'm still in this trade for 20 percent. i let this one uh run a bit guys so i moved my stop loss from here to here okay so another profitable trade guys i hope you took this trade idea and guys, if you enjoy these trade ideas from Friday, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, smash that notification button, and also smash the like button. It really helps support us and allows us to do this every day. All right, guys. So yeah, another good trade. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, still in this for 20%. The third and final trade from Friday was oil. And unfortunately, I couldn't get in on this one. But let, let me show you, explore, let me explain why. So first of all, guys, why were we shorting this? Well, price was in an uptrend. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. This low held, okay, but then it eventually broke. Yeah, these lows here broke. And even these lows here broke. And I'm seeing a head and shoulders pattern here. Yeah, woohoo, head and shoulders pattern. Get excited when we see one of these. All right. And then we had this bearish candle that broke all of that. And we was just looking to take price potentially down to this blue line or even this blue line. Okay. And as you can see, price whipped down pretty quick. And if we go to the H1 chart, guys, that was the problem. It didn't give me a chance to get in. So, you know, we were looking at this gray zone. But I also said, you know, we could pr potentially trade the first bearish candlestick pattern that we see or just a candle that tells us sellers are in control but i didn't really see that until this candle and then by then guys it's too late really because this is my first take profit and i'd have to put my stop above here so the risk to reward just didn't make sense so i didn't get in on this pair guys yeah I, you know it would have been a nice trade the direction was still good guys maybe some of you did trade it let us know we would love to hear from you okay guys so yeah that was friday let's take a look at today's trades now <laughs> Guys, we had a wonderfully profitable day on Friday. I hope you managed to follow a few of the trade ideas. And if you enjoyed the recap and perhaps made some money from the trade ideas, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, smash that notification button, guys, and also smash the like button. Mercy Buku. Um, guys, trade ideas for today. Um, before I do this, uh, let me just mention the Discord channel, guys. Come join our Discord channel. Loads of traders in there sharing great ideas. So come and be part of that. Um, also, my live stream on Wednesday, guys, 6.30 a.m. London GMT. Come join us for the live stream on Wednesday. Ask as many questions as you like. And thirdly, the mentorship program, guys. If you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email. All the information about all of these things are in the video description. Right, my editor will be happy. Um, guys, let's start with Aussie dollar, Swiss franc. Um, this is going to be our first trade idea for today, guys. All right. So um, why are we trading this? And today is Monday, the 21st of November, just in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, so Aussie dollar, Swiss franc is the first one, guys. Why are we shorting this? So the first thing we should to show you is the weekly chart. Because it's a bit of a weekly play, really, yeah? This is clearly in a downtrend, guys, this chart. And then it's broken down. And this area here is obviously yeah, a key area for where price has been reacting, yeah? So this grey zone is also an important zone to come back down, guys. And if I zoom in, yeah, we've had a very bearish candle react at that level. And we've also got this wick on the weekly candle all right so yeah we're trying to short this back down to here guys if we go to the day chart now i suggest you do the same guys always look at your weekly chart daily chart do a top down approach guys h4 h1 yeah it gives you the, the, a big picture view of what's going on um and if you go down to the day chart guys and this is in a downtrend okay so it was in an uptrend higher highs higher lows didn't create a higher high yeah, this is always a red flag. The price could be breaking down. And then sure enough, it's broke down. Yeah, once these lows were broken, 
we are in a downward structure. And now price has come back up to here. And then we've seen this reaction, guys. Yeah, the, the market is pretty much ranging here at the moment. But because of this reaction, this, this wick here on this candle, I think we can take price back down to these last lows here or even these last lows from over here. All right, guys, so we're looking to short it for those reasons. Um, let's look at the H1 now, guys, to see how we're going to trade it. Um, we've just got the one grey zone here, guys. So we remember, we love to be with H1 structure. I love H1 structure more than I love Gal Gadot. And I love Gal Gadot. Okay, is it Gadot or Gadot? I don't know. Um, but it's clearly in an uptrend, guys, on the H1. Yeah, well, it was, and then it broken that. Yeah, once these lows here were broken, yeah, we are now in a H1 downtrend. So all I want to do, guys, is see price react in this grey zone somewhere. We get a bearish uh, candlestick pattern or just a candle that tells us sellers are in control. Yeah, we can then enter, close 80% of the trade here, and then leave 20% to run. Excuse me, guys, itchy nose. All right, so Aussie dollar Swiss franc. That's the first trade idea. We're looking to short this pair. Next one is this it is the Aussie dollar against the New Zealand dollar. All right, and we've been keeping our eye on this one for a while now. So, yeah, it's clearly in a downtrend, guys. Yeah, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. And now we've got lower lows. Yeah, it's broken this low. So it tells us that the trend is still going. Yeah, if we're getting lower lows, the trend is strong, okay? Um, so, yeah, and we've got this bearish candle here as well, guys, all right? So we're in a downtrend, bearish candle, um, what's not to like? And we're just going to try and take it back down to this last psychological level of 0800 here. All right, guys, so that's the idea on the day chart. We're now going to drop down to the hourly chart. And the question with this trade is, is how much will it retrace, if at all? Yeah, we don't know, but how much will it retrace? So if I zoom out, guys, you can see why I've plotted my first grey zone. Yeah, because look at this area here, 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 here. So this is why I've plotted this first grey zone, guys. If I zoom back in, yeah, so we could just see price retrace into here. Yeah, we get a bearish candlestick pattern or a bearish candle. We take price back down to here, close 80%. That's how I roll. And then leave 20% to run, guys. All right. If that doesn't happen, guys, it could. I mean, this is from an old trade, this gray zone, to be honest with you. But it's still a, an important zone. But I don't think it's going to reach up to here. But if it does, yeah, again, we just wait for a bearish um, reaction and we can get in, guys. All right, but we're looking to short Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Um, we've got two more trade ideas. But guys, if you're enjoying the trade ideas and would like to receive these every day, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, guys. Smash that notification button and also smash the like button. Yeah, help support the channel. We would love to have you with us. Um, okay, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar short. The next one, guys, is this. This is the New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar. And this will be against trend, but it's at a very important area now. Yeah, so you can see prices reacted at this grey zone and we're currently here now as well. I wouldn't say it's a particularly bearish reaction we've had here, but it's, we've got a bit of a wick there that tells us there's some sellers have entered and we've had a bit of rejection at this level. OK, so that's what I'm seeing on the day chart, guys. But when I see these grey zones on the day chart, uh, and it will be against trend, I need to see a breakdown in structure on the H1. So what I'm looking for now, guys, it's come up and hit our grey zone. Yeah, it's come up, it's hit here. Potentially, it might do this a little bit before it comes down. But a break of this zone, yeah, it's potentially a break in H1 structure. And then we could start shorting this pair. So I just want to see a breakdown on the H1 time frame for this pair. Then we can start shorting it. All right. So New Zealand uh, against the Canadian dollar, we're looking to short this pair. Uh, and the final one, guys, is this New Zealand dollar against the Japanese yen. Let's look at the day chart, not the hourly. So this is the day chart, guys. All right. And 
Um, what we're seeing here is this. So price was in an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. But then price comes shooting down yeah, and broke these lows here. So as soon as these lows are broken, guys, we have a change in structure. Day trend is now in a downward structure. Okay, and now it's had a big retrace. Okay, and we're seeing a bit of a reaction. Okay, but it's also coincide with this last high, this last high. So there's a bit of resistance through here. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing, guys. Um, and now all I want to see is a on the H1 chart is again price breaking down. Okay, so H1 now is still in an uptrend. Yeah, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher not a higher low, but the lows have held, and price is potentially coming back up. So this zone here is the important zone, guys. Yeah, let's put a grey zone in. So what I want to see is a breakdown of this area here, guys. Yeah, so what we'll see is price come down, break this zone. Therefore, we've had a H1 structure break, comes back up, retests, and then we can take price lower, guys. All right, so New Zealand, Japanese yen, we're also looking to short this pair. All right, guys, there are the four trade ideas for today. Um, let's take a look at the news now. Guys, if you're enjoying this daily morning analysis, I hope you are, then come join us. Subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, and smash the like button. Thank you very much. Um, news for Monday, the 21st of November, guys. So no real news to speak of. Yeah, if we look down the economic calendar here, no three-star ratings we can see. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much free to trade today, guys. All right. So yeah, no news. Um, and that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the vid. If you have, please subscribe, like, and share. I hope you have a great trading day, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.